Hello, this is Timothy O'Brien. I'm from Metro Health Medical Center, and I'm doing the Case Med Minute. It's discriminating Hodgkin versus non-Hodgkin lymphoma. And that is not a typo. There is no apostrophe after Hodgkin's or non-Hodgkin's. Pathologists for the World Health Organization got rid of apostrophes. Same thing with Burkitt's. It's now Burkitt lymphoma. <laughs> they don't like apostrophes. Students often ask, since non-Hodgkin lymphoma is far more common than Hodgkin lymphoma, why isn't non-Hodgkin lymphoma given a better name? It's because Hodgkin was discovered first. Hodgkin versus non-Hodgkin lymphoma, the stage for Hodgkin lymphoma drives the prognosis, whereas for non-Hodgkin lymphoma, the grade is really important. So the difference of uh, for stage versus grade, grade real simply just means what it looks like under the microscope. So what the pathologist is telling you, the subtype of Hodgkin versus non-Hodgkin lymphoma it is. There are four different subtypes of Hodgkin lymphoma, four classical subtypes. Their prognosis within each stage is identical. Whereas for non-Hodgkin lymphoma, the grade is extremely important. There are over 40 different subtypes. And the prognosis and treatment radically differs based on the grade. The stage is also important for non-Hodgkin lymphoma, but not nearly as important as it is for um, Hodgkin lymphoma. Again, stage for stage, Within the four subtypes of classical Hodgkin lymphoma, the prognosis and treatment is the same. The manner of spread also differs. Hodgkin lymphoma is very orderly. Patients will usually have a high neck node or a, well, if it's below the diaphragm, an inguinal node involvement. If they do, the next site of involvement, if it's high neck, will be low neck, and then it would be mediastinum and then axillary and then it would spread very orderly to below the diaphragm and then all over. It's very orderly and predictable. Non-Hodgkin lymphoma, on the other hand, is completely crazy, basically. It's haphazard, non-contiguous, does whatever it wants. I've seen patients with a small node in their high neck. All of the other scans and tests are negative, do a bone marrow biopsy, and boom, it's in the bone marrow. Non-Hodgkin lymphoma, why that is, not entirely clear. Hodgkin lymphoma, generally, it affects people in their 20s and 30s, much younger age, whereas non-Hodgkin lymphoma, these are older patients. The incidence particularly increases above age 50 to 60. All patients with Hodgkin lymphoma, regardless of their stage or age, are curable. Non-Hodgkin lymphoma, it depends. For the more aggressive non-Hodgkin lymphomas, they're all curable regardless of stage. For the less aggressive ones, they're not as curable. Going back to some other differences, Hodgkin lymphoma is a B-cell malignancy. About 95% of them are arising from the germinal B-cell, while whereas non-Hodgkin lymphomas, most of them, about 80% are B-cell, but they can be T-cell as well. And just to go over the staging system for Hodgkin lymphoma, it's actually identical for non-Hodgkin lymphoma. It's the Ann Arbor, modified Ann Arbor staging system. Stage one is one lymph node group. And it's not one lymph node, it's one lympho group. So if you have two nodes in your neck, but they're contiguous to each other, that's, that's one lymph node group. Stage two is two or more nodal groups, but they're on the same side of the diaphragm. Three is involvement of nodes on both sides of the diaphragm. And four would be disseminated organ involvement, like involvement of your liver, bone marrow. The spleen does not count as an organ, by the way. It's felt to be a giant lymph node. And then within each stage, there's either A or B. A is no B. B is fevers, presence of fevers, drenching night sweats, or weight loss more than 10%. The reason these three constitutional symptoms are important is they correlate with a prognosis. Within each stage, if they have one of the B symptoms, they have a worse prognosis. And subscript E means it, they have extranodal involvement by direct extension. For instance, if they had a periportal lymph node, by their liver and lymphoma was directly involving the liver. That's uh, stage E, 1E, for instance. And bulky disease is important. If the uh, lymph nodes, any of them are more than 10 centimeters or occupy more than a, a third of the width of mediastinum on a PA and lateral chest x-ray, that's given the subscript X or bulky disease. That's important for prognosis uh, because patients who have bulky disease generally require radiation in addition to chemotherapy. It just shows the different stages. This is stage one, stage two, stage three, both sides of the diaphragm, and stage four with organ involvement. This is liver and bone.